So this is a request video from one member of the squad, an updated Mirage build which focuses mainly on mean maxing the damage potential of this frame, while offering some hefty amount of survivability at the same time. In addition, I will also share an awesome synergy for this frame right now that you can use and have fun playing with. So, without further ado, let me share the build I'm using for Mirage right now. There are actually two build variation I'm using for my Mirage. The first one is an Umbral Adaptation build, which has tons of power strength and duration. This mainly focuses on her Hall of Mirrors and Eclipse ability and with this mod setup, our clones can have some decent amount of damage, and our Eclipse ability can provide more damage, specifically, 618% more bonus damage plus, we get that 95% damage reduction. We don't actually need this much power strength for the 95% damage reduction, in fact, we only need to achieve 126% power strength and we will get that percentage but, since we are focusing on getting as much damage as possible, that is why we pumped up the power strength on this build. Eclipse may seem really powerful at first glance, as it both gives you damage and damage reduction but, there's a twist on it, you can't have both damage and damage reduction at the same time, you only get the bonus damage at illuminated areas while you get the damage reduction on dark areas, if you are one of those players who wants the damage reduction than the bonus damage, then probably, you will get disappointed with this ability, it may be effective in planes of Eidolon, during night time, as you can take full advantage of the damage reduction but in most tile set, you will most likely shift between the bonus damage and damage mitigation without even noticing, or commonly, you will just camp in one spot to take advantage of either the bonus damage, or the damage mitigation, this may not affect the overall damage potential of Mirage but most likely, your survivability will be unreliable, even with your clones, which can distract enemies, this is not enough, especially in high level missions like sortie or long endurance runs, which is why we added the adaptation mod on this build, this mod is not mainly for the purpose of mitigating the damage of those heavy gunners, or any other hard hitting enemies but, I choose to have it for the purpose of mitigating effect over time status like toxin, heat and bleed, don't get me wrong, adaptation is still really good in mitigating damage when used in mirage, especially if you have the 95% damage mitigation, I just find it more useful in mitigating those effect over time status. The main problem about this build however, is against bombards, these types of enemies don't let us build up the 90% damage mitigation of adaptation and most likely, we will get one shotted by their missiles because of that blast damage, you won't be bothered by this in team plays, but for those who like to run solo in high level missions, or even in long endurance runs, then this will probably be a big issue, which is why I propose another build variation, perfect for those who love to go solo in missions, what we gonna do here is trim a bit of power strength and duration, to add another survivability setup, in the form of quick thinking, rage and prime flow, these three mods will ensure that we can take a heavy hit, like those attacks from bombards, since mirage has a really high energy pool, we can take advantage of this survivability mod setup and, don't forget that we also have the adaptation mods, which lessen the damage of enemy attacks, so basically, we can ensure to our mirage can take heavy hits, if that's not enough survivability for you, then go with the melee setup, with the healing return, or unranked life strike mod, now this is just a suggestion but, if you happen to have the option of crafting a heavy blade saw, then I advise you to do so, what I basically do is, run my usual freed's great scythe saw with the tempo royal stance, and the exodia hunt arcane, this arcane right over here pairs well with the tempo royal stance, and with this combination, you can crowd control a bunch of enemies, giving you more survivability, like I have said, this is just a suggestion and you can either take it or leave it, there are other melee weapons that you can mod with healing mods, and use it with mirage, ok, I think we are done with the builds, let's now proceed to the new weapon and frame synergy for mirage, if you love the combination of mirage and the archiplasma, then you will definitely love this synergy, it's between mirage, and the new catch moon kit gun on fortuna with the pax seeker arcane, with the extra damage coming from her eclipse ability, plus the extra projectile shot that her hall of mirrors give, and those seeking projectile coming from Pax Seeker when you landed a headshot kill, I'm pretty sure that you will have tons of fun playing with this awesome frame, so that's it, that's my setup for Mirage and I hope that you have learned something from it, like always, please leave a like if you enjoy this video and, subscribe for more Warframe content, also, come stop by and chat on our discord server and, you can also follow me on twitter if you want, links are on the video description below, thank you so much for watching, 
Happy weekend everyone, squad leader signing off.